On October the 7th, you tweeted, give them hell, Netanyahu, enough yep. is enough. And you got some blowback for that, as everybody yeah, who lot. says anything about this. Were you yep. surprised by the scale of the blowback? Do you wish you'd phrased that tweet differently? Do you have any regrets about well, it? Well, you know, Twitter is a very complicated social media platform, and it's been difficult for me to learn how to use it wisely. And I'm not alone in that because it's difficult to be wise on Twitter. Now, what I'm trying to learn is when a tweet is appropriate and when a long form commentary is appropriate. And the rule I think is something like the higher the stakes, the more likely that the long form commentary is necessary. And really, it would have been better had I because I did release a YouTube video where I explained some of what we already talked yes, about. I my saw sense it, yeah. that, yeah, yeah, and that was, well, that was received much better. Let's put mm -hmm. it that way. But it also gave me a chance to elaborate my argument, and so what it highlighted for me. And I felt, you know, I was, look, I wasn't, I was very taken aback by what happened in, in Israel, and I was also appalled because in my estimation it was unnecessary as i said the abraham accords could have been extended earlier and maybe this wouldn't have been necessary um, and so i i i allowed myself to express some sentiment at that point without providing context and that wasn't as good as providing the context and so and i'm rethinking twitter overall at the moment about how to use it. You know, Elon has taken off the character limit, and he's also made it possible to distribute video, and so it no longer has to be a place where impulsive exchanges can, can occur rapidly, and I'm trying to reconfigure how I use it. I'm much happier with the video. Now, you know, I was upset because I had developed somewhat of a Muslim following um, on YouTube, and I was very happy about that. A lot of people on the Islamic side of the world were watching my biblical lectures, for example, and, you know, and I've had extensive conversations with Muslims on my YouTube channel. And, you know, I burnt some of that up. And I'm not sure I did that, well, I, I would say I'm certain I didn't do that in the most productive manner. Hmm. And so, do I regret it? It would have been better to do the long form, to, to have done the long form to begin with, you know? And Twitter invites and rewards a certain amount of impulsivity. And it wasn't, I don't know, Pierce, I don't know if it's ever time for impulsive action, especially when the stakes are serious, you know?